everything changes. I just wanted to show you guys this. It's, uh, it's some parts for a satellite antenna um, rotator elevator. Let's see if I can zoom in. The camera will focus for you. There you go. And they're looking absolutely superb. Uh, the project's called Satnox. It's an open source project. It's not mine. Available for anyone to, to build. All the files are on their website for download. Uh, the website is satnogs.org. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm really, really pleased with these. When I first come back to the printer, I've not used it for about two weeks, I'd say. Um, we've been busy playing with the CNC machine, so uh, when I come back, uh, I checked the gap out and you could get a lollipop stick in there. Whereas it was set really, really, really well before. So these things are affected by, you know, the elements. Moisture and temperature and that. I was surprised by how much of a gap there was. You know, no, nobody's touched the machine. Nobody's messed with any of these adjusters. It uh, must have just contracted or something. I'm not quite sure, but... Anyway, I had a quick go at uh, levelling it back up. I, I did this all by eye, um, mostly. Um, fair away, I didn't really use any paper at all or anything as a feeder gauge. I just did it all by eye. Uh, once I was happy, I printed out a first quick dummy run, which is that. Oh, excuse me. Just to see how how the, the first layer went down, really, more than anything. Is it going to zoom? Is it going to focus? No? Yeah, just to see how the first layer went down, and I wasn't happy, so I stopped it. Uh, I was pretty close, but not to my satisfaction, so I stopped it, reset everything, peeled them off, started it again, uh, and as it was laying, I did a few little tweaks and fine adjustments on those as it was going around printing. And the first layer was a little bit, let's see if I can get it to focus. No. The uh, the first layer went down and it flared out a little bit at the bottom. But it literally was the first layer, so they'll wear off anyway as the, as the gear wheel gets used. So I'm not worried about that. The rest of the layers are, are fantastic. No, uh, you know, I can brag a little bit that I've uh, eyeballed it and it's printing okay. This, this camera doesn't do, do the print quality justice, I don't think. I don't think this camera does anything justice. It's a Sony Xperia M5 mobile phone and it's, it's junk. And, you know, it boasts this all fancy super focus and it struggles with everything, so... Take my, uh, take my advice and don't bother with one of these things. If anyone offers you an Xperia M5, it's okay for a paperweight. So the first layer sort of splayed out and mushed out a little bit. But uh, it's advised when you've done these gears, you run, run them through with a drill, get them moving and it wears them in and beds them in. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. What I did was I took a couple of parts at a time uh, using Repetier, laid them out on the bed rather than printing them one by one. But, Two hours, 57 minutes in, 64%. So it's about four and a half hour print. And I'm sort of confined to the workshop until it's done. And it is about half past eight, half past eight, something like that. Let's have a look. Oh, it is half past eight. So I'm in here for a good hour and a half more. Um, that's a board I'm working on. That's a, an alarm dialer. Let's minimise that for you. That's the uh, gear. So all these parts you can download through satnogs.org. It's open source, anybody can do it. It's, uh, excuse the camera work. 
There we are, there's Sat Nogs. That's their website. If you go to say hardware documentation, I'm doing the uh, version 2. There is a version 3 out there. Version 3. Version 3 is using extruded aluminium. It looks a bit open to me, so I quite like the version 2 original design. And then all the files are in near on GitHub. If you go back into documentation, there is instructions. There's instructions for the uh, electrical assembly for version 2, the mechanical assembly for version 2, and there's some instructions for the mechanical assembly of version 3. But I'm you do version 2. I like version 2, I like the little box and I like how it functions. Um, there's some videos on YouTube of Satnogs um, being demonstrated and you know, it looks really good. So there's the electronics. There's Eagle files as well for the electronics. So you can etch them as well if you want. Let's see if I can zoom in there a bit for you. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the main the box with the drive and everything and all the worm gears and the electronics and everything in. And basically the whole whole box sort of pivots around that axis for rotation and then the antennas are mounted on here and pivot around that axis for, for elevation. And I think the whole thing's controlled by Orbitron. And there's a list of the electronic parts that you need. And I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm just going to pick away at it a bit at a time. Um, start printing parts off as I am doing back over on the 3D printer with the camera that doesn't focus. Ta da! There we go. Should have gone to spec savers. Yeah, so. I'm just going to pick away at them. Um, obviously, at four hours of time you can find in here printing the part. So I'll just pick away every time I'm in here and set it up, let it run. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many of each part I actually need, to be honest. Um, I've not looked that far. All I did was uh, took the STL files that I've get up that they give you for these 3D printed parts. Um, put two at a time of the bigger parts together on one file uh, and three of the smaller parts together so I've got about four files on the SD card so that's what I'm printing off um, so I'll just pick away at those and then I'll go back and have a look and count up see what, what I need and I'm very happy not here we go starting off with the, with the surface layer now to do that surface layer then it'll build Build a wall up like that one around it. It's filling that noise. There's a camera will do its thing. Get off our we'll get her. Is it gonna? Come on. No, it's not going to. You just about see it's sort of translucent surface fill. You do about three of those layers and then to start on the, the inner wall. Shouldn't be too long, 65%, yeah, about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. There you go. You can actually get these things to print translucent. I've seen somebody do, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know it was a box with puzzle pieces that you click together and they were translucent, printed out of clear filament. But you can do it with things like whites and blacks, you can get sort of a, a film effect going on. It's a bit gappy. But I think that's because I'm using this area of the bed rather than actually in the centre where it's a bit more level. As it moves outwards, it, it sort of waves about a little bit. Yeah. It's perfectly usable. And once it's put its next layers over the top, you can fill those down and smooth them out. Be all good. So that's where I'm at at the minute. I just wanted to show you quality of those and what exactly they were. It's an interesting project to try and people have put a lot of effort and thought into it, you know. Very simple, lightweight, portable. And um, they even give you the designs and the 3D printed models for the uh, the tripod as well. So you know how's about that. 
Anyway, I'll touch back on this again at another time. You know, once I'm uh, closer to assembling the thing and, and sitting down and pulling it all together. And uh, we'll go from there with that. Just trying to get it to show you the surface fill before I finish the video. It's uh, a bit much for this camera and the lighting in there. You can see the inner wall for the focus. There we go. It's uh, lovely. It's a really lovely finish in the outer wall as well. It's a bit wobbly on the outside a little bit. I'm not after perfection. Just usability. Will she focus? Yes, she will. And with that, I'll say thanks for watching.